Hello everyone, I'm Clayton Crispin and uh, first of all I would like to apologize because I know I haven't been uploading a lot of videos. My life is really busy because of college, because of work, because of a lot of things that's going on in my life. So uh, because I don't have a specific days to upload videos, that's why I ask you guys to subscribe to this channel, ring the bell, because this, no, uh, this way you're going to be notified every time uh, I upload a new video, right? Um, I will try to be very fast to try to make a short video now because it's first because I, I won't have time to do um, a more, how can I say, refined editing and adding effects and something. And I think this, um, the subject I want to talk, it's very straightforward, okay? Um, yeah, I think it is high time for me to talk about Jair Bolsonaro, that is uh, the Brazilian president. I think if you if you know any Brazilian person, if you follow them on social medias, you might have read or might have been told about this hashtag called 80, 80 tiros, which means 80 gunshots. All right. Uh, on this on April 7th, last Sunday, so a family guy was shot by the army in Rio de Janeiro. Him and his family were going to um, to a baby shower. So there was this truck with the soldiers and they were patrolling the area because I think they, uh, there was a kind of, um, there was some criminals acting that and these criminals, they were robbing, they were assaulting people. Um, anyways, they, they escaped in a, in, a, in a white car, right? And this family was in a white car and uh, so they thought that the criminals were, the, the soldiers thought the criminals was inside this car and they shot, but uh, it was 80 gunshots by mistake. Gente, gente, por que o quartel fez isso? Eu falei, mo, calma, é o quartel, é o quartel, ele morre, só tinha levado um tiro, aí os vizinhos começaram a socorrer, eu ia voltar, mas eles continuaram atirando e vieram com arma a punho. Eu comecei a botar a mão na cabeça. Moço, socorre meu esposo. Eles não fizeram nada. Eles ficaram de depois. Ai, meu Deus. Eu perdi o meu amigo. Meu Deus. Meu Deus. Eu perdi o meu melhor amigo, gente. Eu tô com ele há 27 anos, gente. So everything is wrong in this situation, you know, because um, if you you don't you don't just shot 80 times by mistake. This brought a lot of commotion because it's um, it's not terrorist that in Brazil only poor and black people are persecuted by police. Only this type of things only happen and most of the time happened with poor people in favelas and poor people in favelas. The, the majority are black people, you know. And uh, I'm not saying that there are only black people there, but uh, most of the time you see a lot of black people being killed. It's not a something, it's, it's quite similar what happened in the United States. The police, you know, if you see a black guy, you know, I don't know, not kind of well dressed or coming or going from a party or going to work, whatever, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a kind of, a, you know, a common sense, a stereotype. People think he's a criminal anyways. So this guy, a black guy, the guy who was shot inside the car, He's black, and uh, he's he's not he's not a, a criminal. He's a security guy. He works as a security and musician. So, anyways, so the soldier shot eighty times, and inside this car was him, his wife, his um, father-in-law, if I'm if I'm not wrong, and his seven years old son. O meu filho estava no carro. O meu filho estava no carro, viu tudo. Ele quer foto do pai. Eu falei que o pai está no hospital. The guy was shot in front of his seven years old son. Okay? 
I mean, it was a miracle. The rest of the family had uh, wasn't do not killed uh, 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 along with the guy, with the the father, because the tragedy could have been worse. So um, anyway, so his wife grabbed her, uh, their son and they escaped from the car. And uh, she asked the guys, the, the, she told the, the, the soldiers they, they were a family, there was no criminal dead, and they, start, they, keep up, they kept shouting, shooting. And uh, I think his father-in-law was, uh, was also shot, and, uh, but uh, he's, he's, he didn't die anyways. And the gunshots you know, stopped. They, she went to them and asked him to help her. And uh, they started laughing, because on, in, on their minds, they were... All criminals there inside the white car. Meanwhile, I think the, the real criminals were far away from that, anyways. Uh, but the problem is because I think in no place in, in the world you see uh, the army, you know, shooting the, the population because they were citizens, they were Brazilian citizens, they weren't criminals, you know. You, you don't expect this coming from the army, all right? And to make things worse, yeah. Uh, it's not because I don't support Jair Bolsonaro, because I have my, my opinion about him, because, it's, I mean, most of the international media are only noticing, are only learning about Jair Bolsonaro now, but I know at least for five, six years as a congressman, so I'm, I'm not supporting him because I don't agree the way with the, the things he says. Uh, I can post here the links in English, about many articles, about, about many interviews in English, uh, saying about, about the things he, uh, Jair Bolsonaro has already said in a ways. But the problem is because uh, the crime, this, this tragedy happened last Sunday on the 7th, and um, on the 11th, right? So, uh, seven, four days after, uh, I mean, in between, in between these days, everybody was expecting him as a president, as the major chief of the army, of the Brazilian army, because he's also the, uh, a, head chief, a head chief, the supreme chief um, of, the, of the army. Everybody was expecting him a declaration to, to say something about, right? And nothing happened in four days. So in the fourth day, um, a Brazilian comedian, Danilo Gentili, a comedian that is not fun at all, anyways, he was um, he was sentenced uh, to jail for I think for around, around six months because he offended um, a congresswoman uh, called Maria do Rosario, who is a notorious Jair Jair Bolsonaro's disaffection. Anyways, uh, he made a kind of a joke. He um, basically called her a whore. All right. Um, but I mean, the thing is, okay, it is, it is kind of exaggerated. I mean, it's too much. You send someone to jail because of a joke, even though it's very offensive. You call someone a, a whore, especially a, a, a politician anyways. Anyways, I'm not here to judge this, but the problem is because Jerry, Jerry Bolsonaro spent four days. Everybody was expecting him to, to say something because brought a national commotion. And he didn't do. And when he does, he he just tweeted this that I'm showing you now in the in the screen. So he just tweeted this that he sympathizes uh, with Danilo Gentili's the no case. And uh, I mean, come on, a grown man, a comedian, all right, that make that doesn't know the difference between offense and a joke. Whatever it is, okay, you have a freedom of speech, but I think every, everything has a limit, you know? But, uh, I mean, he, he, he felt more like to, to tweet, to sympathize with, a, with a, a comedian than with a family that was gunshot 80 times. 80 times! A, a family member, a, a, a family father was killed, and he didn't, he didn't say anything about it. No, so this only shows the type of president we have. And uh, I mean, if you see all the, the adjectives, all the things people say about Jair Bolsonaro, one of the things that he's a racist, he's misogynist, and he's homophobic. And he had only the only opportunity, okay, to to come forward and say, no, I'm not a homophobic, I'm not a racist, and tell something to support, to to be sympathetic with the family. 
But no, he 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 chose to be sympathetic with a comedian. All right, and uh, and uh, I I got so pissed. I got really pissed. I mean, uh, I'm the final. I'm a final year student in IT. I have loads of assignments, and I I I had to stop and sp speak my mind. So I tweet back. Jerry Bolsonaro, you can see that I'm gonna put the translation what I said because I was I was asking him, you know, I was you know criticizing the fact that he was sympathetic with a comedian and not sympathetic with the family with this with a seven years old boy that won't have his father anymore. Can you imagine? Uh, he was cute. Can you imagine yourself, a seven years old person, a seven years old child? seeing your dad being shot 80 times, seeing the suffering of your, uh, see your mother suffering. Can, can you just imagine? Do you know how this child will grow, do you know? What, what kind of perspective of life, of country, of justice, this little boy will have? And the, we, everybody was expecting the president to come forward to come forward and say something, and he sympathizes with a comedian. You know, it's, it's it's absolutely insane, and I I just can't understand. I, I ask myself all the time how we came this far. Why, fifty eight million Brazilians voted for Bolsonaro, knowing because it's notorious the way he thinks about about this stuff. You know, he thinks all the claims from minorities. Uh, black community, L LGBT, LGBT communities, women, they think it's a kind of a, everybody's played the victims, you know, it's a victimism, I don't know if it, it is a word in English anyways, so that, that's, that's what his impression, you know, I think if you compare the difference, you know, about black, uh, about the claims black community in the United States does, and uh, what black community does do in Brazil, you know, if, if we compare the situations, I think Americans at least they stopped and listened to their, their, their claims, you know, at least. But in Brazil, no. The, uh, most of the people who doesn't suffer any kind of a prejudice, any kind of, of uh, discrimination, they want to be the ones who have the last word about everything regarding this, this type of discrimination, you know. So anyways, guys, uh, I just, just, wanted, I just wanted to speak my mind and let you guys know, I mean, the, I, I, I cherish and I don't take it for granted the opportunity of me being one of the fewest Brazilians in the world if you, com if you, if you consider the amount of Brazilians, you know, they're very few. I'm, I'm one of the fewest who can speak in English too, too, because I need to tell. I need to tell the world what is going on in Brazil and it's not good. It's not good at all. And that's just make me pissed, so pissed, seriously. And uh, it doesn't matter because I'm not living there, but my family is living there. I'm feeling so pissed. I'm feeling really angry about this. Anyways, guys, sorry if I speak too much. And uh, and uh, stay tuned in the channel, right? I mean, as, as soon as things, you know, I start sorting down all of my, my assignments and something, I will, I will keep them, you know, um, uploading more contents, more more entertainment, uh, gringos who can't speak Portuguese, and how is it faked, and they're creating new, new, um, um, new things for, for the channel as well, all right? And uh, please, please guys, let's be more empathetic, empathy, that's what we need, okay? These type of things we just can't ignore, all right? So that's it, guys, take it easy, I hope everybody stay well, and I'll see you guys in the next video, right? Bye-bye.